Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Quake Cyan and join me as we venture the world of health and beauty. Hello love, welcome. Now I'm feeling better. Back today I'm gonna show you how my isolation room looks like. This is the so yeah, love the nurse called. Hi love, good morning. So today is my discharge day in this isolation facility and the past days I was not filming because I really wanted to enjoy the 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 chance for me to be alone and and and, and the chance for me to calm down and, and think about many things in my life. And so now it's my last day that I'm filming it. And uh, it's confirmed because yesterday it was like <laughs> I, w I was expecting I was gonna be home by morning, but it's not so Today is finally my discharge day and the nurse just had um, her uh, normal vital signs checking and the rounds and I was just so touched because I was talking to her like um, Like asking her like I'm gonna be home today and um and that um, I'm gonna ask for the taxi, how can I be home, can I be home with someone who's gonna be discharged too because this place is a bit far and then after the long, to uh, bit, a bit long talk, she gave me this and it says, stay strong, you can do it, Kaula and I'm like, I'm touched really, I wanted to cry, I don't know I wanted to cry. I was really teary-eyed when like she gave it to me and then I was walking in and then I, I, I'm so touched and I was telling her uh, before I, we ended the conversation that I want to thank them all for for supporting us for for the for the you know the, the compassion to help us even if it's hard even if they kind of ha have a hard load but they're they're pushing I know because uh, I was in my life and again in my life in my coming life yeah i'm i'm, I'm part of the medical team and I'm, I'm always one of them and yeah i was so touched stay strong you can do it i don't know it's just so good to hear this um to a random person that you don't know like you know like when you feel like you're kind of weak but there's someone randomly um telling you to keep keep going I mean, like, she doesn't know what, what goes my li with my life deeply, but she has given me that message. I mean, it's so touching. I don't want to cry on camera because I don't want to be too um, emotional and, like, you know, I just wanted to be real as much as possible. I don't want to cry. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll update you later once I'm going to be home and I'll try to film when I'm go going. Out. So actually I don't film that much here because I'm concerned about the privacy, you know, like But I'll try to film whatever uh, possible uh, the, um, Filming that I can do at least I can document it and I'll surely give you a uh, detailed um, Key points or what I can say like summary on on being in an isolation on what to bring what to do what to expect so That's it. Bye so hello love, so now it's time for me to go home. I called the I called the nurse station and I contacted the taxi that will pick me up and yeah, I tidy up everything and my luggage and my bag. That's my, my luggage with my one luggage. My pack bag. And yeah. So yeah, love the nurse calls and the taxi is outside so I'm getting ready. Thank you Lord, hallelujah.
Bless pa din po. It's all for free. And they're very supportive. Hi, love. So, yeah, I'm finally home. And I finally took a very comfortable shower with all the dog of it wolf that I used to. I'm of what life has to offer me. And yeah, I got to show you what to do. Then the isolation area that I've been. So yeah, now I'm here. I'm kind of resting. Uh, how do I feel? I don't know. I kind of feel still. Um, like, you know, like catching a breath at times, I don't know why, but maybe, because my friend was, was telling me like if you cope with corona and you're done with the isolation, after some time you will still feel like you, it's very easy for you to um, uh, catch your breath, so it's normal, but all is well, all is well guys, I'm, I'm well, I'm well, and thank you for all your prayers, and yeah, that's it. Today, I'll be discussing to you about what happened to me the past weeks. So, I'm 